Coach Paul Tango is technical engineer, and that means we are quality control, we are quality assurance. The MOS in itself is, I'd say, four parts. The Army trains you on AutoCAD, land surveying, soils testing, and quality control. You can run in any direction with those skills. A lot of times, as a, as a civilian, you'll do one job or the other. You'll never do all four parts. And I think the Army has done a good job in combining that so that you can take different avenues as a civilian. So the process normally starts with an op order that'll come down. It's kind of a generalized idea. It'll start from your platoon sergeant and uh, he'll kind of let you run with it. Uh, he'll give you the parameters, the, the aspects that he needs. And a lot of times he'll just say run with it. And if he likes what you did, you just created a project out of your own mind. So I'm a very hands-on guy. I like to be down in the, in the nitty gritty and um, doing the job day in and day out. I didn't want to go to school right away, so enlisted was kind of my choice. And the Army has offered me a lot of experience in this job um, as far as personal goals go. I left AIT, which is uh, Advanced Individual Training. I left immediately and went straight to Korea and got started on a couple big projects over there, so they immediately provide you experience in the field that you're in. There are so many engineers in the Army, mainly because we're all specialty. We're all specialized in a certain skill. You have your Bravos who breach and do demolition. You have your Novembers who do horizontal construction, they do tank ditches, so on. Uh, your Charlies who do your, uh, your wet gaps, um, bridging type stuff. Um, and then your Tangos who, uh, who do the, the design and quality control. You need those different MOSs in order to keep the Army running forward. So if I were to come across a recruit that was thinking about joining my MOS, uh, I'd tell him to go for it. The job possesses so many different skills, whether if you like technology or you like being in the field, you like being in the office. I mean, the time is balanced, so you're in the field half the time, you're in the office half the time. If you like designing stuff, you like being creative, it's got that part in AutoCAD. If you like the ever-changing technology that the Army provides, uh, land surveying offers that. And you kind of get a sense of uh, accomplishment when you see a project from start to finish, you know? Not a lot of MOSs get that. There's a lot of responsibility and a lot of uh, accomplishment, a lot of sense of pride. I'd say as a civilian versus Army, um, the routine is pretty pretty similar. I think we all get up around the same time, you know, uh, just depending on the commute people have. I would say it's a little different in the, sp in the aspect that we do PT in the morning and then we have a break before we go to work. But from nine to five, that's all it is. It's just a nine to five job. You get there, do your job and get out, just like a civilian would.